Coach, how often do you think back to back then when you were playing and you won the championship, then the second year uh, losing in the Final Four to Duke? Do you, how often do you think back to those moments, those days? I think we think about it a lot, and, and I'm fortunate to still be in college athletics. I've always said to be part of college athletics is special. When you can do it at your alma mater, it takes on extra special significance, and that's certainly the case. And so we think about it a lot. It's a big part of our recruiting push, uh, trying to build on the great tradition at UNLV for the future, uh, certainly to build on what Coach Kruger was able to do the last seven years, a uh, really good crew that we've got coming back, 11 returning scholarship players, and, and recruiting uh, is something we do 365 days a year, 366 leap year. And uh, so we're excited about the future of our program. That's one of the real hooks you'll use, like when you go into a kid's home where you say, hey, you know, uh, remember that team you used to watch when you were a kid or that you heard about? Yeah, I was on that team. Absolutely. It's a, it's a big part of it, and uh, I think every step of the way. I, I think the thing for us is it's a program with great tradition, third winning as a program in the history of college basketball in terms of winning percentage. And Again, it's not just 1990-91, but it goes back to the late 60s. It goes back to the 70s with Reggie Theus and Robert Smith and that crew, and, and certainly 87 with, with the late Armand Gilliam and Freddie Banks and Mark Wade, and there's just so much tradition. And in recent memory, uh, you talk about... <laughs> NBA Finals, where you've got Sean Marion winning the NBA championship and the Miami Heat and Joel Anthony, who was a huge part of the success of the Heat this year. And so uh, there's great tradition in our program, and uh, we're excited about what's going on. Eric, that was your favorite team that won the championship. Uh, did you have a favorite player on that team? And also you were telling great stories on the air, even the Arkansas game with Todd Day when there was a mm -hmm. fight. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I can pick a favorite player on that team. Uh, I mean, right now, since he's sitting right next to me, you say Coach Rice. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, that, that, that team was just unbelievable, and they were also unselfish. I mean, you don't, you, you don't see uh, teams like that anymore. I mean, you'll have a couple guys that kind of stand out. But, I mean, none of those guys. It, Larry didn't care if he scored eight points, and Anderson had had 30. It didn't matter. I mean, those guys were great. I can't, I can't pick a favorite. It was like a pro team, the stuff they were doing. Well, I honestly think they could have competed with many of the pro teams back then. I mean, I know, I know they kind of joked around about that on the uh -huh. news, but, I mean, I think they could. <laughs> Coach, how was uh, Tark's birthday party? Terrific. Had an opportunity to go to Coach Tark's 81st uh, birthday party. It was a surprise. <clears throat> and uh, Coach doesn't get surprised about very much, but uh, you could see the look on his face. And his daughter Jody and sons Danny and, and George uh, did a great job of putting it together. Uh, there were some players from Coach Tark's Riverside City College Championship teams uh, from the middle 60s who were there, and then, of course, many UNLV players and then some Fresno State guys who were there. But just a great time to see so many former players and coaches. and Just what a special time for me to be here. I mean, it was Coach Tark, and I give him all the credit. He's the reason I came to Las Vegas. Uh, gave me a chance to be part of two Final Four teams, to win a national championship, and then it was... Coach Tark, who saw something in me and said, you know what, I think you have a future in coaching. And it was almost 20 years to the day that, that he talked to me about that, that he was sitting at a press conference. I was being named the head coach at UNLV. And I've said it from day one when I got the job. This will never be about me. It's about our program. It's about all the great former players, all the great former coaches and fans, and, and a community that loves runner rebel basketball and deserves to have the best. Going back to the glory days, uh, Dave Koken brought this up, and you see if it's true. Does, does the HBO special help out? On the rebels and kids seeing that, and I want to go back to those, to those days and bring that back to the community and uh, the success they had going to the winning the championship. I think there's no doubt. I think with uh, so much importance that's placed on social media now, and then uh, really what we talk about the proliferation of ESPN and HBO, and absolutely every little bit counts. And uh, the tradition of our program, and and I think when we go into homes of, of kids, uh, if the kids don't have a great memory of it. Certainly, mom and or dad do. And uh, so it's mm -hmm. a special time, and, and I think just moving forward, I think style of play is going to be a huge deal for us. And we talked about it when we first got the job. Uh, there's a reason why we're the running rebels, and if we're not going to play like that, we need to change our name. It's something that's really important in terms of style of play, of pushing the ball in every single possession. I think our guys are excited about the challenges ahead. What else are you selling when you're sitting down with recruits? Well, I think the biggest thing is the tradition of the program, the opportunity to come in and be part of a really special situation. Uh, it's a great town. It's a great education at UNLV and just a chance to come in and, and compete for championships. And I think we've got that kind of a vision. We know it's not going to necessarily happen overnight. There are going to be growing pains. But 
I think, again, and I'll keep continue to say it, is that Coach Kruger did a terrific job here and left us a great foundation that we can build on. Mm -hmm. I know you've said that, too. I mean, you're talking about who's coming in, but also <coughs> there's, there's some good players that are on this team coming up that, well, that, that are here. Without question. We're excited about our four seniors and the leadership that they've provided for us. Uh, Certainly Anthony Marshall being a local guy who we think has got a chance to be really, really special. We've got three guys who will play for us this coming year who practiced last year, uh, didn't play. Mike Moser transferred from UCLA. Kendall Wallace, of course, who's made a ton of shots in his career and was hurt last year. And then Reggie Smith, who transferred from Marquette. But I think you always look to your seniors for leadership, and certainly that's the case this year with Oscar Belfield, with Bryce Masamba, with Kendall Wallace, and then Chase Stanback. And Chase Stanback has had a terrific summer, done a great job in the weight room, increased his bench press max by 50 pounds. He's up to 216 pounds. I think he's really motivated. <clears throat> I think that, uh, you know, certainly he had a rough night, uh, put himself in a really difficult spot. We're dealing with that. Uh, we're going to continue to support Chase, get him through that. Uh, there are always consequences to any action, but uh, it's a team team atmosphere, and we're going to get him through that and support him every step of the way. Mike Moser, about 6'8", what, 215, 220, uh, guy that's got that build, he's almost NBA ready. And then Reggie Smith, you mentioned him, he's only about 5'10", point guard. Uh, he will penetrate, he's uh, got speed. They say his vertical is about 45 inches? Yeah, you know, you always hear about guys with 40 plus inch verticals, you think, yeah, right, well, this really is the case. He's a fabulous athlete, Chicago guy, uh, played for a great AAU program in high school there, and we're excited about Reggie. He'll be eligible for us mid-year. Looking forward to him, and then I need to mention Carlos Lopez and Quintrell Thomas, who both really had great summers, and we look forward to their efforts this year.